we're here with Dr. Khan from Wasatch Pain Solutions, and it's always nice to have Dr. Khan here because he talks about ways to manage our pain without having to go through surgery, and I love hearing about that. Well, I love, we're talking about something called Regenix stem cell procedure? Correct. So, How do you, What is that? Explain that. So Regenix stem cell treatment is a protocol for different uh, specific issues and different joints to actually help repair those areas without the need for surgery. Traditionally it's used with uh, platelets as well as blood bone marrow concentrate as well as prolotherapy to kind of coordinate that treatment. All together. Oh my gosh, so fascinating. Um, I'm so I read a, a statistic: one fourth of people who get hip replacements still have pain. And yes. there's a lot of people. That's a lot. Twenty-five percent. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. And yeah. you're saying that what that you offer an alternative to that? Correct. So you know, with hip replacement surgery, there's many different complications that can arise. As you mentioned already, patients still have pain after three or four years after their surgery. Wow. Uh, alternatively. There's things like uh, pseudotumors that can develop as well because the metal that's being leached off these uh, metal prostheses, uh, as well as those patients that are older have to be understanding that there's a risk with doing this procedure or doing surgery in general, is that they're likely to develop a heart attack 26 times more likely uh, oh. two weeks after the surgery. Interesting. Uh, is that just one. hip replacement surgery? For or just hip surgery? replacement. Wow. Yeah. So, so this is actually literally an alternative to the surgery? Correct. Okay, Correct. wow. So how is it different? What's done differently? Um, so th what we're using is your own bone marrow, your own blood platelets, um, and we're harnessing those to kind of help repair the damaged cartilage, the damaged labral tissues that are in there. Also pa patients that have hip bursitis pain due to muscle tears and muscle ligament issues there, um, as well as going to work on a coordinated physical therapy. Cause you know, the hip is a very complex n joint and as far as uh, treating it, you need to be aware that exercising it is just as important as treating mm -hmm. the problem in that area. On top of that, the hip also is so related to the low back that we need to look for pinched nerves back there that could be associated with right. why they're hurting. Dr. Khan, is there an education process to get people to understand that this is, this, this truly works? Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, m many times that involves the consultation with me to kind of go over the, their, their appropriateness because that's one of the things that differentiates us versus other clinics that offer stem cell therapy is that we tell you whether or not you're a good candidate or not. Um, so we rate everybody good, fair, or poor candidates and we tell them, you know, this may not be the right thing if that's not the right thing for them. And you're not just treating hip replacement, you're, you're doing all sorts of different treatments, right? Correct. So, um, you know, we do this for the, the shoulder as well, shoulder arthritic issues or rotator cuff tears. We do it for low, low back or lumbar spine problems. Uh, we also do it for knee joints. That's probably the most joint uh, that we treat uh, in general. And, and oftentimes we do other things like most of the pain management types of treatments that help relieve the pain for patients so they can avoid as well the so surgery. It sounds like a no-brainer. It does, doesn't right? it? I mean, yeah, anytime you can avoid surgery, Yes. Right? That, that's yeah. what you want to do. You want to go for your other options. Yeah. Well, and what's the post care like? Is it. So, different? traditionally, there'll be physical therapy for about six to eight weeks. It's not too intensive, once a week for six to eight weeks. Traditionally, most people get through that and can tolerate that. Once they get past that, they can start to increase their activity level to kind of where they were, which is kind of an interesting thing because most of our Regenix patients, they turn out to go back to their sporting activities, their activities they like to do, um, and they have better range of motion than those patients that get hip replacement. Well, I was going to say where you probably can't go back to your normal activity after a surgery, a right. hip replacement, right? Right, absolutely. Traditionally. Yeah, yeah traditionally. What are your, what are your um, um, uh, patients saying? How are, are they so happy with the, the treatment? Yeah, that's been the most uh, kind of gratifying part of this whole thing is that our patients are coming back three months, six months later and, and you know, successfully telling us how well they're doing. It's not uncommon to hear someone say, I'm 75% better, I'm 80% better, yeah. I'm 90% better. Um, we'd love to get everybody 100%, but that's not, real, that's not reality. And, Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. It's one thing I like about you. You always say how it is. You know, you, you give us the, the real well, deal. Not for everyone, but you have the ability to sit down and tell them, you know, this will work or won't work, and that's mm -hmm. what everyone should do. If you're watching and have any sort of pain, 
um, issues or concerns that you're going to have to get surgery for, um, definitely take a look at um, Dr. Khan, and there's all the information on the screen. Um, good information. Yeah, it's thank fascinating you. stuff, right? Yeah, thanks, so, thanks for being yeah, here with appreciate us. appreciate it. No problem. All right, uh, what's coming up later?